Hi everyone, today I wanted to give you my opinion on just how important is it to be qualified or chartered as an engineer. Chartership or getting qualified is a really important part of your career and you should be setting targets earlier on in your career. Don't leave it too late. As a structural engineer in the UK, there are two main institutions which you can go for. One is the Institution of Civil Engineers or the ICE and the other is the Institution of Structural Engineers or the iStructi. It doesn't necessarily matter who you choose, as both institutions are recognised around the world. As a structural engineer, it does make more sense to go for the iStructi, but in the long term and the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. There is a bit of a stigma with being ICE chartered as a structural engineer compared to being chartered with the iStructi. And that's simply because the ICE exam is more subjective because it's wholly based on the interview process, um, whereas in the iStructi it is a written exam which is much harder to sort of fluke your way past, whereas in the interview you can sort of flourish your own experiences a little bit, but you can be caught out. So it's not necessarily easier, it's just a higher chance of being able to possibly fluke your way past it. In a separate video I will go through the key differences between the routes to being chartered with the ICE and the iStructi. Being chartered makes it more desirable for your employer as it allows them to charge you out for more. It allows you to put the letters CNG after your name and it can give clients more confidence that the work that you'll be delivering will be of a top quality standard. Being chartered allows you to climb the ladder faster and rewards you with a higher salary. There is a trade-off here. Being chartered means that you will be given more responsibilities and your decisions that you make will be more scrutinised and if you make a mistake that can be very costly. Once you are chartered there is an expectation that you are technically savvy to a certain degree. Some people can get chartered too quickly and this can be detrimental as they can get caught out for not knowing basic engineering principles. It's to be noted that being chartered does not make you a good engineer. When I first started out, I thought chartered engineers were the, the top dogs of engineering. You know, you, you've got your qualification, you're going to be really, really good. But that just simply isn't the case. Throughout my career, I've met plenty of chartered engineers who are pretty average, pretty mediocre engineers. You know, they don't really know all the technical things that you expect them to. And likewise, I've met plenty of really good engineers who aren't chartered. And it's just simply because they can't be bothered or they just don't believe in it. So to wrap this video up, just how important is it? And I'd say it is really important and you should aspire to get it. It's great for you, you know, for yourself personally with a higher salary, a promotion, a new title. And it's also great for your employer and your clients. They can charge you out more. Your clients will, you know, have more confidence in the work that you do. Without being chartered, it is quite hard to get past the senior engineer level um, without loads and loads of years of experience. If you're trying to find a job which is higher than senior, like a principal or associate, they will ask for you to be chartered, almost no question about it. However, I just want to remind you that being chartered is not the be all and end all. If I was an employer looking to recruit someone new and I was looking for someone and I had two candidates, one was four years experience with chartered, another person with eight years experience. I'm gonna be choosing that person with the eight years experience probably. Experience pays so much more than just some title. So just keep that in mind. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be doing more videos on chartership and the next video is gonna be about the differences between the IC and the iStructi. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe as it really helps boost my confidence and continue to make these videos. Thank you.